Hello and welcome to a new episode of Designed for the Times. I'm your host, Richard Christopher Scuderi. I'm very happy to have with me live in studio someone I just met recently, although I previewed her work and it's just amazing. We're going to talk about something today which people are asking me for more and more, and that is more sophisticated storage solutions, or SSS. And with that, I'd like to introduce Jack Jackie Mel Melchior. Sure. And she's with SSS Closet Systems, and that stands for? Sophisticated Storage Solutions. Okay, and you're located in Bridgewater, in New Jersey? Bridgewater on Chimney Rock Road. On Chimney Rock Road, isn't that wonderful? So, you know, one of the things that we talk about uh, often is that um, I do media, Wednesdays are my media day, and often a guest will start with me in studio, and we do radio every Wednesday, which we did today live, and we talked a little bit about the closet systems and so on, and the history of it and how things are, are changing, and then we go, go to studio here where we actually can show it. And I'm very excited because we're going to look at some of your work and really delve into closet systems and the way people live and so on. But I would want to, for our, um, our viewers to talk a little bit about how you got into closets. I know you were in corporate America for a long time and then there was sort of a life change. There must have been something in your, in your personal history though. You know, for me when I started, my dad was a, um, a general contractor and he built our home and I remember being five years old running through the the house when it was first being framed and loving the opportunities, the things that you could create and that had stayed with me and then I began to work with him. For you, what was the impetus of making a life change and getting involved in doing custom closets? Uh, well, it was, it was a life change. I needed to do something new. Right. And uh, I just always thought closets were um, a good thing to do. People have one pole, one shelf and mm -hmm. um, there's a lot more use we can make out of that space. Yeah, in the early years, there wasn't that much thought to, to closets, was there? No. But you had said something when we were in, in the radio studio earlier that sort of uh, stayed with me, is that people, those did, cl uh, closets were smaller because people had less clothes, right? Correct. Now people have, like I have every, this is terrible, I have every closet in the house uh, loaded with clothes. I even have a, a dressing room. So I think some of us don't throw things away, which is another right. thing. But closets typically, you know, in an older house, we talked about the classic six-foot closet, right? One door, the six-foot right, closet. Right. Well, you're lucky if you have that. Right. The and older then, uh, didn't have it. They had little tiny... Like the cubby hole 12 closet. 12-inch deep, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, you went into business, we said 17 years ago, so that right. would bring it to the, about 2002? 2002. Right, and you said you started out in, in Raritan, New Jersey. Right, Raritan Borough. Okay, so in the space that you're in, now I know you went from Raritan Borough, now you're in Bridgewater. In that facility, do you, do you have sort of a sales center and manufacturing? The manufacturing is done there? Correct, yeah, we do okay. everything in one place. So talk to us about the process. Let's say, let's say, I'm selling my house, which I am right now, and thinking of going into a, a new smaller space, and I'm used to having a very big space. Probably that would be the impetus for me to call somebody like you to take a smaller space and make it work. What is the impetus for most people in calling you? When is somebody calling you about a closet? Well, there's always a catalyst. They mm -hmm. are moving either to bigger or to smaller. Okay, so it's a move often. Yeah, or, uh, or they're having a baby. That, okay. that, that's a big one. Well, life change, <laughs> yeah. right, right. Yeah. And that brings them to you. Yes. Do the realtors refer you? Do, you, do a lot of times you not, go not, to try to sell a yeah, house and they say, oh, you know. Not like you would think that yeah. they might. You'd think it'd be a natural, but right. they're thinking about houses, I guess. Yeah, no, I guess that. But to me, uh, one of the biggest things people are looking for is more storage. Often the reason people move is for what? Not enough right. room, not enough storage. Right. And often, you know, I stage houses for the realtors. What we often do is I tell people to take half their clothes out. Right. Often, out Correct. the closet. Because people, in fact, when you go to sell your house, they're going to go through your closets. Yeah. They will look through your closets. Yeah. So they have to be staged, yeah. if you will. So you brought us some wonderful images today. And I want to take a look at the, uh, the first couple of ones you have, which is spectacular, They're like rooms, as George, uh, the general manager here, said. Maybe we can bring up the first image and we'll okay. take a look at that. Now, to most people, if you had a New York City apartment, this would be the apartment. <laughs> Right. This is a this is a gorgeous closet, uh, or maybe even dressing room. I would call it. So tell us about this uh, design and what you've done here. Now, th is this um, attic space or second floor space? What this what is, is this? This is actually a third floor dressing room. These okay. people ran out of space in their closet, and they okay. needed a space for their formal clothing. Okay. So everything is behind glass. 
Okay. Now I see that. So I see everything is behind glass. Now some of the reasons I guess people would be behind glass because obviously you just have easy access to your clothes. You don't have to go looking for things. Are there any benefits in temperature or other reasons why people would um, want glass other than the fact that you can see through to it? And of course it's pretty and reflective. Well, in most closets, you wouldn't even put your things behind a door because you have a closet door. Right, right. So the reason to have any kind of door is people are concerned about dust. Oh, so that's just to prevent dust. Yep. Now, let's talk a little bit about lighting. Now, I can see which there's a lovely chandelier in this um, space. Do people often put lighting within a closet like that that has glass? Uh, we we can we can do um, you know motion sensor we can do lighting throughout but uh, most people honestly do get their own lighting and and you can see that this has plenty of lighting without us doing anything. Sure. Now when I look at the um, the image there um, the um, it, there's a, a double rack. How much height do you have to do have in order to be able to do two racks of clothes? Well, we hang at 86 inches, and, 86 that, inches? and that usually gives you a good double hang. Okay. But we sometimes uh, switch it up a little bit. Do you? Um, if someone is very tall, we might go taller. We just um, actually went back to a house where it was a former football player. Yeah. We had Big to guy, take huh? everything down and yeah. put it all back up to the ceiling. Wow. In order for his shirts to um, to, work. to fit. Wow. But that was the exception. Okay. And then I see you have a center island there. Why do people choose the center island? I know it's very popular. It's a great look, but what what what's the practical reason people well, choose the center island? Well, there's two reasons for that. One, it's a place to put your drawers, um, and the drawers don't have to be high, so mm -hmm. then you can put your countertop on that. People like it for folding their clothing. Yeah, I like a flat surface for folding. Yeah. yeah. Now I see there's like sort of a lower cabinet. I don't know if it's attached, but it's next to it. What is that cabinet for? That would be to sit down and put your shoes on. Oh, so that's sort of a... A, a little a, bench. A little bench, if you will. Mm -hmm. And then the bench has storage. Right. So if you're putting your shoes on and so on, you're getting dressed in the closet room, right. then that's what that's for. Right. Well, that's a very practical solution. Now, it looks like in this case, obviously, because this is more of a, almost a dressing room, are the, are, is the sheetrock there painted a contrasting color from the trim? I believe that it is very close. It looks it's like some, maybe like a light pale yeah, gray. Yeah, maybe. Um, now, so... Um, the colors of the closets, uh, the closet units themselves, it almost seems to me as if the closet unit and then the um, paint that was used for um, uh, the trim in that room seem almost identical. Do you match Benjamin Moore colors or Sherman um, Williams colors? Well, we know, we know what the Benjamin Moore match is for, for our things. This closet actually is a pencil glaze. You can't quite see no, it here. It's, it a gray, it's a gray pencil glaze. Uh -huh. Yeah. Very, very, very pretty in the space. So let's talk about the flooring in this closet. Do people, when, when in this case it's a little bit special because it's a third floor, is the entire third floor that's usable space closet? Yes. So is often the closet the same material as uh, flooring as the rest of the space? Like the bedroom that's attached yeah, 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 to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or do people do most, different? Most often it's not. Most often it's not because mm. people start out with carpet right. in their closets right. and then when they redo them they might decide to put hardwood and so that's not going to match what's been in the, existing in the house. So it could be kind of different. Yeah. And then I see to the right there there's a, a full door so there's a place that you can have a full length. Right. Uh, and then what's next to that? Is that also glass? It's kind of hard to see what that is. Where the reflection of the yeah. island is, uh, I, I'm not sure. On the other side, which way? I'm not sure. On the right, way. on the right side of the the, the, the right image. Side. So where the full door is with the doorknob. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what's next to well, that? Well, that's like a space. And actually, we don't have a picture of that, but that's mm. a little TV area with a little. Um, settee where you can sit and These if, one, if one person is ready they can sit there and wait for the other one very luxurious okay yeah. so i think you have another shot of this particular project yes. yeah. okay so this is from another area. so, so explain right. to us jackie what you're seeing here yeah so um off to the left is that sitting area that we can't see so now we're right. looking at the other side of the island okay and on the right you can see that's actually mirror right so we have three doors that have mirrors and then they can see themselves in uh, all directions. No, which is a good thing and a bad. It's yeah. a blessing and a curse. <laughs> I was told by people. Um, is it often 
people prefer to have that be um, a mirror as opposed to, especially if you have a smaller space, as opposed to the glass itself of having the door be mirrored instead? Well, only if you have the room to stand back, like right. you said, and do it. And then I just want to point out on the left, that's actually a slanted ceiling. And so yeah, we, sort of we, the eaves we, of the um, space, right. We made that work in that slant. Well, this is a very custom closet, obviously. So even if you have materials available, these are kind of very specific to the, the roof lines here. So a customer like this, where you're doing something that's, that's you know, specifically custom to the space, um, what's the turnaround time on something like this? Because you, you would imagine that you'd have to take very detailed measurements. Right. Well, it would definitely take a while to design it and back and forth with the customer to make sure, sure. that they're getting what they want. But we do have a 3D program. People mm -hmm. are pretty good at understanding that. They well, let's talk, let's talk about the process per se. Let's say I decide that um, I'm not, or maybe I tried to sell my house and it didn't sell. And one of the things I was frustrated was I didn't have enough storage. So I say, you know what, I'm going to call uh, Jackie and see if she'd come out to the house or somebody from your company, from SSS, and let's see if we can do something and maximize the space that we have. Do most people work within the confines of the space that they have, or do people often add space, pull from another part of the house? Uh, What's sort of it, so more it, common? It's sort of both, but okay. by the time they've called us, they've already pulled from the house. They've already okay. made that plan, Okay. Or, or they're about to do it, and we love it when they call us before they do it. Sure, because so you can... So we can tell them where to put the door. Right, <laughs> exactly, exactly. So in this case, you created space that was unused space, attic space, correct? Correct. Into the space. So there were a lot of options to go with. So I would imagine you have your first appointment, you look at the raw space, you take the measurements. Now, do you bring something with you? Do you, do you bring a tablet or a laptop and then show them in 3D there? Or do you design? In, like, what's the in process? In this case, it would take a while to design. Because this is very custom, this is very if elaborate. It, right. If it was smaller, you'd be able to design it and show them something right there. So really, theoretically, if you have a smaller closet area, you could do it in an, in an evening, in Correct. one appointment. Yeah, or an hour. Wow. Yeah. Let's talk about pricing for these closets. Normally, um, is pricing done on the spot, or is that something that usually is a well, follow-up uh, appointment? We we can price it as soon as we design it, but it is priced by the piece. There's okay. no formula for it, so oh. it takes so it takes time. So sure. everything you add, and we try to uh, steer customers that way. You want more glass doors? That's more money. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, so. Um, See, again, here from this angle, lovely yeah. flooring in the space. This kind of has all the bells and whistles. Um, it has the beautiful glass doors. It has mirror. It has a beautiful chandelier in the space. Of this closet, w your company handles the, the, the units themselves, the, the built-ins, and then the installation? Correct. Do people ever buy the materials from you, and then let's say they're building a house, and the builder installs it? Uh, from time to time, they do. Mm -hmm. There's not a huge savings in doing that, right. but we are willing to do that, especially if the closet installation is part of their um, build. The builder the is going to do that, right? Part of their it, business. Then it's worth it for them to do that. So yes, we'll do so that. So interesting to do. And again, um, I love the idea of having a flat surface for folding your clothes. Right. All right. Let's go to the uh, the next image. Okay. So this is looks like it's. The different yeah, space. this is a um, okay. a very nice walk-in that anybody would be happy to have. That's a nice size walk-in. If they couldn't have that one that we just looked at. Yeah, no, this is a nice and, size walk-in. And what's walk nice about this is um, we have a little contrasting top over by the window. Okay. And so that just kind of sets it off a little bit. But now, is that that sort of underneath the the um, window there? Mm -hmm. Is that uh, strong enough to, to sit on yes. to put? Absolutely. So to me, in a bedroom, I always put at least a chair or a bench. So if you're uh, uh, putting your socks or a lady putting stockings on, you have that right. opportunity to do that. Because that gives you a nice wide um, seat there to be able to do that. Now, I notice underneath that bench there, um, there is storage, but it's not closed storage. I, it, I kind of hard to make out what, what actually I, is underneath there. It is there. hard to see, but I believe it's purses. Oh, it's purses I underneath I think I'm there. pretty sure that's what's under there. Is yeah. there a rule of thumb of what's up, what's down? I always think that shoes are down and, and storage would be up. Uh, I think that um, it's so personal preference, mm -hmm. what you want to do with that. Uh-huh. Oh, I turned it off. Um, some people like them up, some like them down. These people didn't have a lot of options because they had that window there. Right. Right. Let's talk about having a window in a um, in a, a closet. 
Ideally, if you were looking for a space to add a closet, mm -hmm. would you prefer a space that did not have a window? Uh, again, it depends on the size. I mm. mean, this this worked out perfectly here. Right. Um, they obviously could have done more if that window wasn't there, but they, it looks like they have everything they want. Because you don't have solid wool when you have a closet, so you're losing the you're losing the storage then when you do that. Right. Right. Okay. But I guess the flip side to that is that you have um, a lot of natural light exactly. coming in during the exactly. day, which is good. And this particularly has high ceilings. There's a lot of uh, work with lighting done to here. It looks to me, besides the um, the fixture, the the um, the center drum fixture there, there's uh, recessed lighting, mm -hmm. and then it looks like there's some sort of like there's like a cove or something it does. real attractive it does look like it. as backlighting there. Mm -hmm. Now, as opposed to the other uh, closet where the um, the clothes were protected within the glass, this is open. Correct. Now, is it? more advantageous to be open or is it more advantageous to be behind glass doors? Well, I, if you are worried about dust, which I don't think is a big, big so problem. So the, 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 one of the reasons people do the glass closets is just the, the dust. Right. Okay. And, and if you want to put doors, you have to make all those units much, much deeper. Right. So you're losing space in the closet. I was going to so say, yeah, a, you're, you're losing some you, space. So not every closet is um, deep enough for you to... Um, do that. What is the minimum depth for a closet, I guess, to just to, to handle well, we like a to hanger? Say, we, 24. 24 inches, so two feet. You can get by with a little bit less, mm -hmm. it depends. But if okay. you're going to put a coat or a jacket, if you're just putting pants or something that don't come out at you, then um, it can be a little bit less. Let's talk about your hardware, the poles. Mm -hmm. Are the poles typically metal? We use only metal. Mm -hmm. Do you use a specific type um, of metal? Well, they're all, well, they're all different colors. We have uh, a, a pretty big selection of colors of the metals. Colors, really? Yeah. Well, well, I meant like brass, I meant that, right. that type of color. Are most people finish. still using uh, something that looks like nickel or? We're doing a lot of nickel mm -hmm. and oil rub bronze. Chrome is making a big comeback. I tell you, I like and chrome. And we have never stopped selling brass. I know that's supposedly making a comeback, but we've always sold brass. brass. Brass is getting uh, is making a comeback for sure. So um, not for everybody. I've taken a lot of brass well, out. Some people call it gold, <laughs> right? Or gold or the new gold. But um, yeah, I would imagine. I I like chrome for a closet. I think chrome is kind of classy. White and chrome to me are kind of classic. Yeah, yeah. In your own house, what, what do you think you'd pick as a finish for metals? Um, I right now I have matte nickel. Okay. Um, I, I wouldn't be opposed to chrome. I think at one point I was opposed to it. Right. So I think, I mean, even my opinions yeah, change. Yeah, they change over time. I think yeah. all our opinions do change eventually over time. So this is very nice. I see at the top there, there's uh, a little bit of an enclosure for glass. What would that be for? Uh, again, just what somebody wants to put something back there. And that glass actually has a little leaf pattern oh, to nice. it. Oh, nice. Now, look at the, I'm looking at the corners because part of it obviously is on an outside wall because you have a, a window there. I see when the corners come together, mm -hmm. uh, as in kitchens when we design cabinets and right. corner cabinets, there's a lot of depth in those spaces. Right. So when the corners come together, is that ideal for sweaters maybe? Not, what would you? It, corner shelves in a closet are really not ideal. This would be an exception. Okay. We, we can be talked into it. Sure. But often when you have a corner shelf, what's in that corner is just kind of lost. I would imagine maybe things you don't wear all the time. Yeah, but you might not even see them if you pile it all up. You go because this way, this way, yeah. There's a hole. So do people sort of, it looks like there's not actually clothes in the actual, right. the so triangle. They're not, so they're not even so they're really not using So they're not using it. it, so that's like but lost space. But it just space. worked well in this design. Right. Let's talk about inserts for shoes. I don't know, I think up we have something that, what's, let's go to the next image actually. Okay, oh no, that was the bedroom image. I think there was an image with shoes. So tell us about the situation. This looks like a, um, uh, maybe a child's bedroom mm -hmm. and I see all built-ins. Is that something that right, you did? Right, we did all the built-ins. This okay. was a child's bedroom. She had no closet whatsoever. But okay. as you can see, it was a lovely bedroom. I don't know why it didn't have a closet. Well, you know, I think in, at least in New Jersey real estate, if you don't have a closet, it can't really be classified as perhaps, a bedroom. Perhaps, I don't know what this was. Yeah, and so you created closets with all built-ins. Right. So I guess you worked, with, you had some good ceiling heights there. Yes, um, but you can see again, it's on a slant. So right. um, we were able to go as big as we could before we hit that. So this is also attic space? No, no, huh. I, I believe it must be like a bonus room or sure. something. Sure. 
Now, I'm looking at the um, the doors there, the toll doors, which mm -hmm. is nice. They're mirrored, so that really Correct. gives you a lot of opportunity uh, to sort of um, check yourself out uh, before you go out. And then it drops uh, on both sides. So is this all the furniture there is, the functional furniture in this room? Yes. So are people often using systems like this as furniture? Yes, yes, for sure. They like to replace their furniture. Right. Now, so far, everything we've seen is white. Are people <laughs> doing painted finishes that are not white, like maybe black or gray? Gray is so popular. Are we doing we've any gray? We've done only it a, a few actually gray, gray. closets. Mm -hmm. Black, we, we steer people away from. It's Just from the darkness? It's a dark, and, and it um, smudges. It doesn't stay. Um, oh, because of the pureness, the darkness. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that looks like a white or a warm white to me. Did you like the look Again, of the gray? this was another pencil glaze. Yeah, I think yeah. this was um, off-white with brown pencil glaze. Right, terrific. And you supply the hardware as well? We supply the hardware. Okay. Those are glass knobs on that. Terrific. Now, in that room, it's hard to see the other side of the room. Is there anything on the other side that is closet or Nothing is it just built into did, the... Nothing that we did, but I do believe she has a little desk there, but right. no, no furniture for clothing. Now, because... How deep? Those look pretty deep. They're almost like armoires. How deep is a closet right. like that? Well, those are 24 inches deep. Wow, and, they look deeper. And then the um, drawers and doors next to them, we made the structure that deep to match up. Hmm. But the drawers are not, uh, you can't do a 24. Even in your kitchen, your drawers are not 24 inches. Right. Let, let's go to the next image. Okay, the next ah. image almost looks like it could be in a, a boutique uh, store, if right. you will. And this is obviously, though, in somebody's home. And this is all jewelry, huh? All jewelry. We had um, someone who did some writing for us once, and she termed this the jewelry vault. Wow. And we can do this to um, anyone's style. It can be bigger or smaller. You don't have to, if you don't have that much jewelry, you don't need four pullouts. Right. We sometimes do a mirror on the top in the back and that maybe a nice. couple of glass shelves so right. it can be uh, customized almost to the looks person. Like, almost looks like an armoire in a yeah. way. Yeah. And then I see the top has wider um, uh, shelves and, and then you have pull-out drawers on the bottom, I right. guess, for smaller. Velvet lined, yeah. Oh, velvet lined, wonderful. Mm -hmm. And you supply all the inserts and yep. everything. So somebody you came with a uh, somebody came with a wish list, you design this and then you implement it. You right. do all the installation. Right. Okay, that's good and interesting. Okay, let's look at the next uh, image. Okay, talk about a little bit about this. So this is a reach-in closet, great uh -huh. for a little boy. Of course, this was in our showroom, so there's no front walls. <laughs> Everybody's right. got a little bit of a return wall, but right. you might have this much. So it's just fun with the, the blue baskets. And if you just think this is an eight-foot closet, if you think um, you probably just have one eight-foot shelf and one eight-foot pole and look at Look at what this has turned into. Oh, oh yeah, a lot of a uh, lot of solution. Not, not a lot of hanging space, but a a lot and of boys, storage. And boys don't really need as young much boys hanging don't space. Need it. And and it, some of that can be changed to hanging if if over time. They That's need what I was going to say. It looks almost modular in a way, and it's an adapt. It, it could be adaptable. Let's talk about the shelves themselves here. Can they move in terms yes, of? Yes, the shelves are all adjustable. The bottom and the top is fixed, and, okay. and you really wouldn't have a reason to move it, but you could. Well, I it's guess maybe, no, no, if you decided down the road maybe to add more hanging, maybe right. you could you work take within the that bottom one out and, and do just that. change yep. that space. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look at the next image. So, okay, little girl. Yeah, another reach okay. in for a little girl, six foot closet. Mm -hmm. Again, you might have had six foot um, pole with a shelf over it and, and look at what you could have so instead look, of that. It looks to me that these are... Um, Probably uh, a melamine. Talk about the construction yes, of the yes. of the of the product itself. Yeah, we we use um, pretty much uh, exclusively uh, melamine, which is a furniture grade particle board. Right. And melamine is fused on it. It's a laminate, just like formica is a laminate. Right. It's just not as thick. You're not going to put it in your kitchen. And easy to clean. Counter. Very easy to clean. What would you suggest to clean uh, the melamine with? Water. Just water. And I was going to say Windex, maybe. Yeah, no, no, you don't want to do anything. You don't. You might go, if somebody really did something to it, then right. you might go to Windex, but okay. just a damp cloth and Just water a damp will cloth do it. and, yep. you know, just keep the dust off the space. Okay, pretty. And again, that's sort of modular. If you, could, you had to change something out, you could. Right. The top and bottom are fixed for stability, and Correct. the middle you right. can but move. But they can be moved. Okay, let's see yep. if there's another image there. And okay. this is just another um, reach in closet, just mm. showing you that's pretty much the same as that little girl's closet that we just saw. It's just got um, uh, this, uh, I guess a teenager lives in this one. Exactly. A lot of functionality. Let's see if there's another image. 
Okay, now this is not the original image we saw, right? That's not the original of the first two we saw. No, this is no, a different no. house. This now this also looks like it's attic space. Right, so this is somebody's um, attic space that um, was very unusable. You can see that the walls go way out to the side. So if you right. just built on that wall, you would have no hanging at all. So you built within the confines of eaves right. of we, space. Right, we do these slanted partitions. Now so you don't do the construction, out. is that correct? Somebody well, we, finished that well, space? We, no, we didn't finish the attic, but, right. we, but everything that's holding clothing, we did. But the attic was finished for the specific correct. purpose. It wasn't finished before you went there. No, well, it may have been, it oh, may okay. have been, but they finished it with the idea of putting a closet there. And you, you have a variety of solutions there. You have a, a built-ins against the, the, the wall there, which are kind of nice. It looks like you have some sort of a bench under the window that has closed storage. Right. And then the eaves, uh, and I see there's an island, but instead of having the island in the middle, it's towards the wall. Right, and sometimes we even come out further, like a peninsula. So if you don't have enough room for an island, we can somehow sometimes come out from the side to give you some drawers and, and space. And a lot of hanging space. Yes. I like clothes hung. I just personally, I don't know what it is. I like clothes hung. I hang my jeans up, which not everybody does. The people often like to put their jeans. But we talked about this earlier today, about the crease, that darn yeah, crease. Yeah. Why does that happen over time? Uh, well, it depends on the hanger and how, and how carefully you put them on. You and don't supply hangers? We do not supply okay. hangers. What type of hanger would you recommend to go with the system? Well, it depends on, on what you're hanging. Um, a nice shaped wooden hanger if you have jackets and coats and things that you really want to keep the shape of. Right. I like a real wood hanger. For yeah. me, that's something that's something yeah. that I would spend money on. But yeah. I don't, I, they're expensive. But, I don't know but everybody the, would. But the real wood hangers only work for certain things. They don't work for blouses. Mm -hmm. the, the shape is not correct right. for that. What's a dress hanger? I know ladies, sometimes I see like a light hanger. Are they, are they, do dresses hang differently? Obviously, a pair of pants can be folded, right. but a dress or a gown is gonna hang very long. Yeah. You know, a men's suit is not gonna hang as long. Do you have to do, I mean, I guess you have to keep in consideration if uh, a lady has a lot of gowns and dresses, correct. right? Correct. In balancing and so correct. on. Is there a certain amount of space or height you leave for gowns? Well, gowns... Um, or bathrobes gown, or... Uh, bathrobes don't need the height that a gown does. A yeah. gown needs the A gown needs the height you don't want to... Okay. And if someone doesn't have a big closet, mm -hmm. um, we say maybe they could go in the guest room. <laughs> so, so it's not going to work, so you really have because to Because you don't do want to that. devote... You don't have the real estate for it. Exactly. What kind of flooring is in this closet? It's hard That's to tell. That's a carpet. That's oh, it's a carpet. carpet. Do you like a carpet in a closet or do you like a hardwood surface in a closet? I think that the hardwood looks nicer, but the carpet is probably nicer when Warmer. you're in there getting dressed. Sure. Do you ever have any closets where people had uh, maybe some sort of a tile surface and it was heated? Uh, no. You know, I did. <laughs> I had yet. someone Not that had yet. their closet heated. They had yeah. The floor, it was, yeah. they did tile off the bathroom. They used the same tile and they heated yeah. it. Okay, let's see if there's another image there. Last image, we're under the eaves. Yeah, this is another one with a, a slanted space. And so we did the best we could for them here and gave them an island. Okay, well, Jackie, that's beautiful. We're at the end of our program. Oh, wow. I thank you for being our guest. Thank you for having me.